Boy. Yeah, yeah, we breaking silence on the low though. So why you think we out here on the low for? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming through, I'm coming through. Ja, ja, ja. Coming through, I'm coming through. Yeah, yeah, I wear the truth like a logo. So why you think I'm out here on my dolo? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming through, I'm coming through. Ja, ja, ja. Coming through, I'm coming through. We Once again, I it's like it like that. That's not right. You're trying to put me on the spot. I told you I like it was getting like ready. That. <laughs> Once again, it's the We Break Silence Show. E. Charles, Pamela, Rosario, Cash Walk, and Vanya. We have a special, special guest in the building. Yes. Mr. Omar Bador. <laughs> I got it this time? You got it right. You got it wow. right. Wow. <laughs> Can we get a wow. hand clap for right? yourself? Yeah, Seriously. you deserve a hand clap because you, know you don't know get no I'm sure thing, that right? you were going to butcher that. Yeah. <laughs> junior. Forgot to say Junior. Yeah. They butchered it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Should have stopped it the way it was. That's not the prefix. I should have never brought that up. Yo, how does it feel to be 5 and 0? Oh, 5 and 0. Oh. Congratulations, bro. Thank you, man. Congratulations. Oh. Yeah. How does it feel, man? Don't let her type you, y'all. What? I mean, Pam, stop. <laughs> what? She gonna I'm be going saying, all night. She gonna I'm be going all saying, night. I'm just saying, don't let. I'm trying to look. You, want, I'm trying to look yeah. out. Y'all are rude. It's all good. It's all Y'all good. Y'all are so rude. Yeah, I, feel, I, feel, I feel the love. <laughs> I'm here trying to be nice. All right, I'm gonna just, <laughs> just now, stop. It. Five and zero. Oh, you know, it feels good uh, being where I am right now. Uh, to tell you the truth, not much different than four and oh, three and oh. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, you still yeah. got the O. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. That's yeah. it. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. <laughs> you know? right. Especially nowadays, the Mayweather effect, everybody wants to be undefeated. Yeah, yeah I know, right? You know? Yeah. And, and the way boxing is nowadays, you know, the, you take that loss and you lose, you lose a lot of stock. So, mm. uh, wow. I'm trying to mm. just by one, huh? one now, you know? Right. That's why we call it the Mayweather effect. That's why I want to keep my O. Keep that O. Stay undefeated. So, when was the last fight? Was it like just recently or? Yeah, I fought like two weeks ago. Yeah. When's the next fight? Um, I haven't gotten a contract yet, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna be fighting June 16th in Hartford. Nice. Oh, yeah. in Hartford. Oh, see, yeah. we have to, to get out there and do that, yo. Yeah. New big silence. Yeah. What's good? We'll be there. We'll fill a radio. We'll cover it. I like it. I would love you guys to be there. Yeah, man. Be dope. No, we'll, we'll, we'll call. I, I'll be I, there I, talking crap. You know me. Oh, yeah. oh, oh my god. I'll be in the night, yo, Omar. C- come on, man. I'm, come on. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta bob and weave. You gotta bob and then weave. Yo, how how did you fall? Let's let's go to the beginning. How did you fall in love with the sport of boxing, bro? I mean, I used to fight a lot when really? I was a kid. Yeah, because you know I'm short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we didn't notice. We didn't notice that at all. I know, I know. They were picking people, on you. Yeah, I mean they tried. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to fight. I used to fight people like your size. You know, wow. I, I, I yeah. wasn't scared of nobody. Bro. Nobody. But. One day I went to, I don't know if you guys know, the Harambe Center. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Bill, <laughs> man. Shout out to Bill. That's my man. Everybody used to be scrapping oh, in there, boy. Facts. That's but. where you learn how to scrap it in there. Everybody's first fight was in the Harambe so, Center. So, yeah. <laughs> so you're training down there in that ring? I was training down there, you know. I was they beating, had a ring down there, right? Yeah, they had a yeah, ring yeah. and a couple bags. Yeah, I, yeah. I was just beating up my friends, you know. Like, mm-hmm. we would go down there and beat the, you know, beat the heck out of each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but um, you know, one day, a, a, a fighter, you know, his name's Edgardo, my cousin, he was the man back then, but he came down and he beat me from turnbuckle to turnbuckle. Oh, wow. man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I think I landed one punch in a whole round. <laughs> it, was, it, was more, it, was more, it was more like a punch, like, save me. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, that's kind of, I was 13 years old. I'm, you know, 23 now, so I was 10 years ago. Yeah. Um, oh, my God, you're 23? You've yeah. been fighting for oh 10 my years? God. 10 years, yeah. That's what's up, man. Thank you, man. That's what's Competitively, up. Competitively, I've started around 17, like, fighting-wise. Okay. It's like 16, 17 years old, but, um... You know, I've been training since I was 13. But didn't you start off playing football? Because I, I thought I read football, somewhere yeah. that you started with football. Yeah. So how did the transition from football into boxing? How did that happen? Well, at the time that I was at the center, I was I was still I was playing football for um, Pop Warner because I was mm-hmm. I was young, you know. And then I went to high school, and then I I was in the DHS team for a little bit. I, I kicked off because of my grades because I wasn't really I, I didn't have a, a good head when I was younger. Right. It's all good, you know. Like like everybody was, gets in trouble, you know. Yeah. But, mm-hmm. I got Sorry. kicked up. Yeah, it's, it's all good. You're getting paid to knock people out. Yeah, 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 boy. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm happy about that. <laughs> it, worked, it worked out. Yeah, so, you know, I got kicked up the team. And then, like I said, that this all this is all happening at the same time that I got beat from turnbuckles. So I'm like, all right, so let me try something else. Let me just go. Let me start going every day. You know, meet, meet my cousin there. You know, he was just training me, helping me out. And then 
That's and basically how I fell in love with him. That's how you got you know? into it. Yeah, and then I had my like first sparring for like first sparring session without him. Like, you know? Mm-hmm. So, okay. I was just kinda like, alright, I could do this, you know. That's where you knew you were like, alright, I ain't get beat up this time. Nah, like, nah. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I was like, after that, I was like, I'm never feeling that helpless again. You know? Yeah. <laughs> right? Like literally you try to find a way in to punch yeah. this dude and you can't. Yeah, like, yeah, dang, I, yo. If I punch him like that, I was scared. I was like, yo, just stop. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you, man. So what's like the biggest crowd that you fight uh, that you fought in front of and like what is it like to fight in front of like big crowds? Because you know, I mean, you, you said you used to fight when you were younger. It's like ten people circling around, and then you just go ahead and go at it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's I like mean, different than fighting in front of like a real audience of people expecting you to like t- to perform. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's. I mean, you get used to it, you know. And the amateurs, I fought on some pretty pretty big shows in the okay. amateurs, you know. So like that, that got me used to it. And then when I went pro, it was just like. Then the only thing I was nervous about was getting hit without the headgear, you know. Gotcha. But the, my that, my uh, pro debut was at Mohegan Sun okay. uh, last year in May. That's oh, what's wow. up. So it was it was a big it was a big it was a big show. You know, I had a good performance, but um, I actually fought on the undercard of Delvin. Oh, oh Delvin yeah. Rodriguez. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's nice. Yeah, work, Delvin, work. Delvin fought for the main event, and I was on the pre- prelims. Nice. So nice. It was it was nice. cool, you know, seeing him there and everything, you know, because. He mentored me back back in the day. Yeah, that's, that, yeah, was, yeah. that was going to be my question too. Yeah, I was yeah. like, has he like helped you out in your uh, you know in the process of becoming a pro and everything like that? You not, guys not keep so much, touch? not so much like that. You know, we, he knew me when I was an amateur before I had any fights, and he would you know he gave me tips and stuff like okay. that. You know, but I kind of just branched out and did my own thing. Nice. You know, because he he was doing he had his own career to focus yeah, on. Yeah. You know, and I respect that, so I was just like, all right, let me go do my own thing. Right. right. You know, and that's how it basically happened. And right. when I went pro, I actually. Uh, my manager, um, AJ Galante. Yep, yep. Shout out to AJ. I know yeah. AJ for a minute. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he owns the champs then. But when that opened up, I kind of just like I went down there, and that's when my whole like my whole career changed. Yeah. You know, I, I had my I was my most active year in the amateurs when that gym opened, and um, after that, you know, I had my last amateur fight, 2016 at the Ringside World Championships. Okay. And uh, I made it to the semis. I didn't win it. I went. I, I felt I lost. In the semis to the number one ranked in the country. Oh wow! So oh, wow. I wasn't I wasn't mad, you know. Yeah, yeah. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't like a, a like a like a blowout. You yeah, know? yeah, right. You people, you you held yeah, your own in no, there. No, people said it could have gone either way. Okay, wow. you know? see? So yeah, I was yeah. I, to, for me that's not even ranked to fight somebody who was number one. You know, I was right. like, all right. Woo. And I in most of my amateur career I did fight ranked people. I never fought anybody. Like, yeah, you didn't want no slouches. Yeah, exactly. I want. That's how you how you test yourself too. <laughs> like you, you gauge like where you're at. You know, yeah, but yeah. you want to fight the best guys. Like let me see if I can hang with this dude. Yeah, and I was young. You know, I was I was older already. You know, all these kid these kids is having fights. Since it was like 10 years old, 6 oh, years wow. old, you know, so they had like 60, 70 fights by the time Woo. I'm fighting them. So, I, you know, what, I had to I had to step up my game, you know, I had to show that I had something. In, that's you know? what's up. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. What's your routine before you go on a fight? Oh, Listen, I'm just, I was just about oh. to ask. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I want to know bad. about the training like, regimen. Because right? okay. okay. I want to get into that. Yo. I'm yeah. like, can I, will I die if I'm trying <laughs> to like, do boxing training? <laughs> I mean, look how small he is. I Yeah, but you know how fit he is? You know, when you fight in like a regular fight, you fight for like a minute in like a street fight. Yeah, he fighting for that's more. Rounds. That's more like thirty seconds. Yeah, actually. exactly. What's that training regimen like? Like, what's the setup for that? Like, I mean, it, just some anything. I mean, um, it changes, you know. But for the most part, I train five, six days a week, and um, you know, I run four days of the week in the morning. You know, before I go to work, right. I, I'm, I'm, I work at a. I'm like, I'm a repair technician. Uh, for during the day okay and, you know i get out of work and i just go to the gym basically and i i usually have wednesdays and sundays off all right today i had thursday off because i trained yesterday gotcha. but um you know basically i just train five to six, five six days a week and every training session is two two and a half hours mm. and then my morning runs usually varies you know like two times distance two times sprints okay like today so I you're mixing distance. it up yeah yeah, yeah. Today, well, how, what distance like how like how long what, how, how long are you going today i ran five miles five miles yeah. oh. Put in five I'm miles close, man. I'll be running two miles, yo. <laughs> nice. I, I don't do it before Probably I go to work. Y'all. I do it when I get out of work. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't do it at all. It's cold and dark in the morning. Like, <laughs> I go home. I ain't I got that. Yeah. That's, it. it's That's cold. crazy. That's a lot. I yeah, mean, like, the lot. fact that you have, like, you know, a day job and you have to fit in the training and getting prepared for fights Dedication. around that. So how is that for you, like, balancing, you know, you got to have a day job and make money and then, you know training and yeah. how is it balancing all of that it's hard don't get me wrong I guess it gets hard sometimes but I've been doing it for so long I've been doing it since I first started fighting you know yeah. I, I've had I've had a full time job since I was 17 mm-hmm. you know straight out of high school I moved out of my, of my own when I was like 17 18 years old you know mm-hmm. so I've always had to work and you know I, I got used to it 
Like yeah. anything else, I just kind of adjust it, you know? Right. Yeah. And Once you're in your routine, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, it's like almost an everyday thing, you know? I get up, go to run, yeah. go, go to work, and go, go to the gym, you know? That's cool. I don't, really, I don't even think about it most of the time. It's like autopilot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just rolling right yeah. through it. There's days, there's days where I'm exhausted. I'm know? sure. And I'm like sleeping on the, behind the wheel, but... Mm. You know, I'll make it through. <laughs> you know, like, what, what, I'm sure once you, you get guys, in the gym, you like get fired up. You're yeah, like, All right, yeah, you guys, you guys were talking about Starbucks earlier. Uh-huh. I, I love Starbucks. You <laughs> right? Like, oh, I need that. Speaking of Starbucks, how are your eating habits? Like, do you feel like you have to eat? You have to be on a specific diet to, uh, for training and for prepping for definitely, the big day? definitely. Diet is actually a huge part of training. People, you know, they don't really think about that. Mm-hmm. You know, you see somebody as skinny. And they look fit, right. but they eat whatever they want. Right. They're not right, going right. to perform as well as somebody, you know, that doesn't even look like that, but eats well. Right. You know, feed it all you, you the put, right you put, Yeah, exactly. You, you eat Snickers and chocolate, you're going to fight that's like what, Snickers. That's the exact. How much you know, the chain, you know, it's just going to come out of you yep. eventually, you know? Yeah. But, um, that. you know, eating, eating right, don't get me wrong, like, I, I indulge, you know, after the fight. Oh you know, yeah! After the weigh-ins, yeah, I, I I'm eat. Sure. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm sure but you during do. training, during training, I don't. You know, I stay on a diet, low low carbs, a lot of protein, you know, mm-hmm. things like that. A lot, a lot of fruits and veggies. Basically. So you mentioned that the first time you fought, the the one fear that you had was like getting hit without the headgear. Yeah. That's one. All right. So how did that feel? And then yo. Them body punches. Like I was telling you before, yeah, yeah. I saw this dude get punched in the stomach. He spit his mouthpiece out and threw up right there in the ring. Oh, yeah. what do you be like, watching on your spare time? What? YouTube, man. The knockout videos. Like a <laughs> like, the dude got hit so hard in the stomach. He's like literally he backed up, put his hands up, spit his mouthpiece out. I was like, Ugh. I was oh. Like, oh. <laughs> Have you ever been hit to that point where you're like, oh my god, my stomach? Like, not to the body. I mean, I've I've taken some good shots. Yeah. You know, in my whole career in um, amateurs, especially, I felt like I said I fought some tough fighters, and there's been times where I got hit and I could hear nothing. Like, oh, you know, what I'm saying I got hit. Wow. I'm sitting there, I'm throwing back, and I'm like. I can't wow. hear nothing. I, I'm looking at my coaches and they're yelling at me, but wow. I don't hear nothing. Wow. Yeah, but I just see this guy still That's, throwing at me. I'm like, oh no. That gotta be scary a little yeah. bit though. Right? Nah, not really. You oh, know, wow. I, the not adrenaline. really. It's just kind of it, adrenaline. And then, you know, when you're in the fight, that was actually, I fought in um, Danbury a couple years ago. And I fought somebody really tough. His name was Sherrod. We, we went to war. You know, all three rounds because amateur fights only Did three you post rounds. that video recently? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we went, we went to war, and he hit me with a shot, and I, that was the time I couldn't hear nothing, and he was still throwing. Mm. So you, you know, most no people, most people were like, "Oh, let me hold, let me, let me run." I, I just started throwing too, wow. right? You know, <laughs> you so had no time to process. Like, oh, I can't hear nothing. Nah, I just, I was like, all right, you know, I'm, it's gonna be war. You know, it is what it is. I'm gonna just throw. That's what's you up, know? man. Oh man, like, see, that's, that's why intense. I always think about like. I boxed with headgear on before I won game. <laughs> going back to you, going back to because I didn't answer your question, but going back to it when I when I got hit without the headgear because when you go pro, you get the headgear and the, the gloves get smaller. Right. You fight in ten ounce gloves in the amateurs with headgear and then and the pros is eight ounce gloves oh, depending man. on your weight class. That's a big difference, huh? Yeah, a lot. Like, of, you know, a lot of people. Yeah, the padding's a lot different. It feels like bare hands. People yeah. people think oh because it's gloved. Nah, I feel like bare hands. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes when like the first guy I fought my pro debut, he was tough. He came to fight, you know, he 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 was he was he was determined. Yeah. So, you know, it felt like little rocks. Mm. Yeah, every every punch it just felt like, you know, you ever get wow. hit with a rock, like a little yeah, pebble, yeah, like yeah, not yeah. a pebble, but like a correct, rock. Correct. You know, I that's, mean, how, that's like that's crazy. Because you be watching it and then like you see like it's like a little jab or whatever. Yeah, and yeah. you don't think nothing of it because they make it look like it's not even affecting them. You gotta right. get a poker face. That's what we call it. You know. Oh there's yeah. Some right, so you feel it. Yeah, yeah. There's some shots. There's some shots in there. We like. Oh, oh my yeah, god. Yeah, you feel it. You know. You but you go it. back to the corner. You reconvene. You're like, all right, I'm good. You yeah, know. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 like, like you said about the body shots. I got hit with a body shot. I think in the third round of my pro debut, and I was like, oh my god, because it got mm. dead I'm under my ribs. Oh, so I'm, man. I'm walking back to the corner. I'm like, I'm fine. But then I'm sitting down. I'm like, oh, oh you know, it just felt like something was hurt. dropped me. Yeah. 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 Oh. oh man. But then I got back up, and I was fine. You know? That's it. Yo, it's like once you gotta step back in there, it's like you're in the middle of the fight. Like you yeah, can't, yeah. you can't. I feel you though. I, you can't be like, ah oh, man, I don't feel like, I don't feel that good. I can't go back out. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. nah, you you, you gotta, gotta fight. Y'all you gotta got perform. a different mental, like yeah, a different yeah. mentality. Like you you're gonna have to knock me out. Yeah, oh, that's crazy. Yo, so but crazy. I like it. It's like a good kind of crazy because yeah. you in here right now. I mean, I tell like, people all the time. Cool. I tell people all the time. I say you gotta be a little crazy to be yeah. boxing, man. Any, we go, any we Yeah, exactly. We go in there. We we. We, we're basically like modern day gladiators, you yeah. know? Mm. We go in there and we, we entertain, we fight each other. It's all love in the end, you know? Because exactly. every fight, every fight, I'm not in there to, 
to kill you or anything like that. I'm just in there for the sport. Yeah. Because I love a it. A lot of times you see dudes, they, you know, they dap it up and hug after yeah. a fight. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really it's just a sport, for the sport. You know, it's there's a, a lot. Sport. There's people yeah. I've met that are just like savage. It's like, oh, you know, F mm. this dude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm just like, all right, man. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. You know what I'm saying? You know, right, I'm, I'm, you I'm, I'm for the street, so I'm like, all right, man, yeah. you know, we can take the gloves off. You yeah. know? <laughs> that's it. We can do whatever you want to yeah. do. Right. Yo, um, let's talk about like the financial side of, of boxing. Right now, I s- you're probably a little past your beginning stage, but how does the checks look like right now? Is it still off a win? Yeah, I mean, a win loss is the same thing because it's contract. Yeah. Both okay. So okay. You, once you sign the contract, you get what you get unless you get a knockout bonus or something like that. But Got you. The checks ain't really. I like to be honest. Be honest, it ain't that much. Mm. But it's it's enough. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not fighting for free. Now. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> say That's good. say you get into ten and zero. Yeah. Checks are gonna start looking different. Definitely. Lifestyle will be a little different. Definitely. Will little you be, flashy. Will you be ready for that? Yeah, I'm not a flash. I've never been a flashy guy. Nice. Yeah, nice. When it comes to the money, I know th- this is what I I, I was stating Floyd today. Floyd Mayweather's flashy. Yeah, but you see, this is, I, I, you know <laughs> what? You know what? Too much He's money mad. to not be. No, but you want to know what? He he made so many smart investments, and you know what? Like looking at Floyd, people are like, oh, he bought all these cars and house. But you know what? He bought that because he made the smart investments. Yeah. You know, he was very big on the life after boxing, and that's what I think about now too. Right, right. Because you know, realistically, I'm 23. I got about 10, 12 years at most. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, 34, 35. Yeah, you know, yeah, some yeah. fighters push it to 40. Yeah, I don't think yeah. I'm gonna be one of those. You players, got your you whole lot, their whole life after. Exactly. That. So, I think about the life after boxing. I wanna, when I make my money, I wanna make good investments that'll yeah. keep me in a good position for right. the rest of my life. Nice. You know, my kids and everything, nice. everybody don't have to work for them. That's what's Because I had to work for everything and I don't want my kids to go through that. So I, hear right. that. I want to put myself in a good position where the life after boxing is good. Let's stay in the money subject. Do you think money... <laughs> he want to know how much you make. No, no, it's much. not even that. Do you, <laughs> is it worth nah, him nah, getting it's into not, boxing? It's not even that. And, and this, this question is kind of for all of us. Do you yeah. think money changes people? Of course. It can. It do you can think it'll change you? Do you think you should... But listen, do you think you should change because your money changed? No, I think no. your lifestyle would change, but your, you as a person, you know, if you, if you come from humble beginnings, I don't Correct. think you'll forget who you I are. I will not change for money, but money will change me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I'm not going to change the inside, but I will be rocking fresh kicks all the time. I will be like... You going to hire a cleaning the, I, lady? I, I'm going to have like... I'm going I'm to be living a different <laughs> lifestyle when I get this bread. Nah, you I hear you. Like, I hear you. A lot of people. I'm not gonna change. I'm gonna still be the same one around the people that I need to be the same yeah, person correct, around. Correct. You know what I'm saying? But but some people you do need to oh again, change for new people. Yeah, I'm being mad yeah, brand yeah. new. Yeah, on the, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you kidding me? Yeah, that's the, yeah. I feel like you should change a certain not like your personality, but you gotta move different. Like you gotta else. watch your back now because yeah. you got bread people looking at yeah. you. Yo, people that's hate. why I keep my you know I keep my circle small. Yeah, yeah. The people that went with me from the start, you know, I don't. I'm not gonna. They're not gonna. You should You know, because that's gonna be the ones. That, those are the people who are gonna be right. asking for like handouts later yeah. on. You don't need that. It's yeah. like you should want to give to the people that you give to when you finally make it. Nobody should be asking. Like if you gotta ask me, then you don't deserve it. Yeah. To be mm-hmm. honest with you, like if you gotta ask me, like yo, if I'm if I'm making millions of dollars, you gotta be like yo, let me just hold a couple of thousand, man. Why are you asking me to hold it? You know you're not gonna give it back. Yeah. And <laughs> I would hold, just, when somebody I'll, says hold it, that means they give it. They taking it. They yeah, exactly. robbing you. you just know, say you want a grant and not a loan, man. It's already, ha- you know, it's already happened. I'm only five and zero. You know, I got people, you know, jumping on the bandwagon. I got Dang. people, you know, what I'm saying it's crazy. I was gonna ask you about that. It's so. crazy. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people jumping on the bandwagon. DMs already, is popping a little bit. Not, not really. Oh, okay. But it, It'll in get person, there. In person, you know, a lot oh, okay. of people. A lot of people. They think, see you. Yeah, and they're like, oh, yeah, you know. Do I you come you. from a big family? I do. You have a lot of siblings. I have a lot of siblings. Yeah. Shout out to Steve. <laughs> 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 That's my boy. It's coming, man. <laughs> That's so funny. Yo, so what do you think about? the state of boxing as a sport in the whole right now because you know a lot of people right now boxing it, they don't get they don't get a lot of respect because there's not like that big marquee name anymore like you mentioned Floyd he's you know phasing out he says he's done you know other than that there's not like a lot of huge huge like you know fighters Deontay Wilder and the heavyweights and a couple other guys what's his name Broner mm-hmm. Adrian Broner he's actually fighting Saturday he's fighting Saturday right yeah and so there's a couple guys you know but there's not like those big names like that we came up they were always yeah, yeah, where, where do you like think the, we at yeah I mean boxing's changed a lot like I told you before the uh, Mayweather effect 
it's taking a lot of fighters, you know, and I think a lot the social media too kills it. Right. Mm. You know, social no, media I know, kills everything. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I use my social media a lot to promote myself. No, but, you have to. You have yeah, to. but the the thing is, like people, like other fighters, I be like that are on TV. They pay attention so much to what other people are talking about on social mm. media. Right. Like Javante Davis, he's fighting on Saturday as well. Um, Adrian Broner, those guys, they pay attention to so much on social media. Oh, they're because they're big on social media. Like, yeah. Adrian Broner, is hu- he's huge they, on social media. He beefed people on social media. All the time. Like, yeah, oh, wow. talking, you know. Did he fight? Did he fight with six nine? Right yeah, now? he's beefing with six nine and um, Gotti. Yeah, yeah. Because they were talking something did, crazy yeah. about him. Didn't Bronner fly to L.A. just to uh, fight this kid that was talking mad crap to him on Twitter? Yeah, you, you seen that? Yeah, he like knocked him out. But yeah. I heard the kid is a little sick though. Yeah, but that's what I'm talking <laughs> about. Like these fighters, a lot of fighters, not just them, but just fighters in general. Like they pay attention to so much what others are doing and yeah. just focus on what you got to do. You know, yeah. just when become you like, a better fighter. When you like 28 and 0 with a championship belt, then all right, you go on yeah. social media like, yeah, I want to fight this guy. Yeah, but, but you know, Bronner, he's taking a couple hours. Like he been knocked out like cold a couple times, right? No, nah, no. Nah, he didn't get knocked out. He did. He he took three lo- three he took, losses. Okay, but they were competitive losses. Yeah, all right, you know, good, good. I, I, I like Broner as a fighter. You yeah, know? I like him. I like fight. I like you yeah. know. But when it comes to boxers, personality wise, there's a lot I don't like. But I won't never judge somebody by what they. I judge it by the way they fight. Right, you know? right. Okay. If I'm a fan of you in the ring, I'm gonna be a fan. I feel regardless, that. you know. I feel that. Yeah, that makes sense. Cause like people hate Bro. I don't like Broner's personality. Nah, me but neither. But he know what? He does help a lot of homeless people, and he does do a lot of things like, yeah. charity wise that people don't mm-hmm. know That's of. Good. And, um, I feel just, like he plays the villain too. He wants yeah. to kind of be that, you know. That's like yeah. that goes into his whole, you know, him selling the fight. Yeah, but that's also a lot of fighters do that to sell the fight. But he, that's his real person. That's oh, that's really how yeah, he is. That's like, really how he is. Like he really, really just be like f this guy, you know. What I'm saying? Like, he's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he's crazy. <laughs> how do you feel about the local support? Do you get a lot of love from Dan Barry? I definitely do. I mean, uh, my pro debut had 125 people there. Oh, nice. 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 Yeah. 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 My family, friends, a lot of people. You know, we had a, we had. The whole tour bus, not like a coach bus, go up there with people. Yeah, that's oh, what's nice. up. Yeah, we've, so we've had a lot of people here say that they don't get, Yo, they don't get see this... a lot of the local support. No, yeah. I, I actually get a lot of local support because a lot of people know. Like I don't know, it's weird to say, but a lot of people know me and they 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 got mad love for me. You know, that's, yeah, what's, that's up. what's up. You know, because I growing up. I was just all over the place, you know. <laughs> like, I was fighting this dude. I was I was yelling at this guy, you know. And to see people, and I know people that see me now, like wow, mm. you know. Just we gotta support this. That's right. what's up, man. Yeah, I mean, if it's positive, I'm all about it, man. I'm with it. I, I'm following you. I'm with <laughs> it. Thank you, man. Thank you. I'm following. You. Don't follow him. <laughs> He's like, I'm in, bro. <laughs> and am. um, so you're a dad. Yeah. Nice. How old is your? She's daughter? almost. She's gonna be four on Saturday. Wow. wow. Nice. That's really? amazing. Yeah. So has that? How has that like affected just your view on your just career and all of that? Just being a dad and. Uh, being a dad that. was the best thing ever, that's ever happened to me. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it blessed me beyond measure. It yeah. showed me what uh, you know, what, what love is. Right. You know, obviously, I love. I have a lot, but you know, that's a love that you never really know yeah. until you have it. Right, have right. It. And um, totally. it's just it just motivated me more. Right. Because you know, as soon as I knew, as soon as I knew what was gonna happen, I wasn't like scared or anything like that. I was just mm-hmm. like, okay, I gotta, I gotta do me now. I gotta, gotta focus. Up, you know, yeah. I gotta step yeah. up. You know. Has she ever watched you fight? When the amateurs never in the pros, never in the pros. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's too yeah, crazy, it's a little, you know. It's yeah. Too much. Yeah. yeah, it's too crazy. When she gets a little older, probably like six, seven years old, I'll bring her along. But yeah, right now, not. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> that makes. I, sense. You know, people are crazy too. I don't want somebody to, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say I, the I, audience I is probably wild. Yeah. It's like it's a rough place for her to be right now. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. At four. God forbid something happen. You know, I'm jumping out the ring. <laughs> yeah. Nah, yeah. <laughs> you know, that's that love you're talking about right there. Yeah. Right. Like yeah. Play, when it comes to my kids, I don't play. Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Do you have other passions other than boxing or any other, I don't want to say hobbies, but anything else, any other projects that you may be doing outside of boxing? I mean, I go to school. You know, I'm a college student right now as well. Nice. Um, I like to help people. You know, my brother, like my, my little brother, he actually, he was in a halfway house because, he, you know, he's getting in trouble a lot. And um, I'm actually going to be his foster parent, so I'm going to take him oh, in. Nice. That's, that's, yo, that's crazy. Yeah, that's you. awesome. I am. Thank you. Man. Wow, that's, cool. that's incredible. So, yeah. so I'm doing. Um, I'm actually in a school for behavioral sciences. Okay. You know, I want to help the you know yeah. people in the foster care and drug you know drug addicts things like that because I grew up around. Them. Yeah. So, so you know that's what's up, man. That's really Truly cool. using what he you know his circumstance and what everything he's been through to. Help people in the future. That's mm-hmm. dope, man. And that's why that's I tell dope. people, I say, you know, they're like, oh, I don't want to be a product of my environment. I tell people, you want to be a product of your yeah. environment, but in a positive way. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I say, you, be, if you went through it, then you want to help somebody not, not go through, through it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. That's what I, That's what one of my goals is. And if I could do that with boxing, and if I can't, then I'll do it the other way, you know? Mm-hmm. Facts. 
I'm gonna awesome. switch subjects real quick. Earlier, we asked the question: <laughs> Would it be cool? Is it cool to still be friends with your See, ex? He's searching for oh, somebody to yeah. feel the way he feels about it. <laughs> and uh, I seen you smiling a little bit. Yeah, I was over there. You know, <laughs> I was in the corner. So I mean, I, I wanna, I wanna hear what you guys say about it. I mean, like they said. You know, definitely, I feel what you were saying, Cash. You were saying about the uh, kids. You know, if there's kids involved, that's mm-hmm. a whole different story. Whole different know? story. Yeah, you can't even. You know, if you if you're my girlfriend, you can't stop me from talking to my baby mother mm-hmm. about my child. You know, right. what I mean? you just gotta stay in your yeah. lane. Yeah, you know, that, that I agree with. Yep. You know, but um, like you were saying, the two three months, if I'm committed, then it's not okay. You know, mm-hmm. if if I was truly committed to the girl, it's not okay. But if thank you, if it was just kind of well, like, that's what I said too. I said if, if the commit, <laughs> like if the emotional commitment is there, yeah, yeah. yeah. But if you're casually dating, but I was never yeah. like, no, yeah, thing. I was, I was committed. Like committed emotionally, is, emotionally, I fall hard, I fall fast. Yeah, at, at whatever <laughs> point you, you reach commitment, then all right, then yes. we can agree that. Yes, yes. That's that's I why I was confused when you guys were telling months. me three months. Like it doesn't count. Like three what? Months. I was committed. <laughs> three months. If a girl told me after three months we was in a committed relationship, I laugh in her face. Really. <laughs> Who was committed? <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> nah, nah, see, that's the Yeah, you are a savage. Because it, yeah. Commitment can't happen in three months. Can't. It can't happen. It can? It can. It can. It, can. Uh, Yo, uh, it happened to me twice. Uh, what up, Jim? It totally happened. It happened to oh me twice. God. And I can see it happening, too. I'm not saying that it's not. No, I, I what know. I meant was, like, if you're if you're not exclusive with the person, yeah. you're casually yeah. just dating. We were, we were You know, and it was exclusive. nothing serious. Yeah. Yeah. And you can't really consider that an ex. Yeah, yeah, you that's know what true. I mean? That's true. If you, I, if you were just messing around with somebody, you right. know what I'm saying? No, they, was, we were. they were labeling you. Like I was telling, we you were holding hands, <laughs> telling everybody smooching that's my in, girl. In, yes. Smooching in the back. Now, in, I was in committed. A, <laughs> I was in there. You got she committed. Was she committed? Right? If you don't do was the dirty, committed? then it's not it. Yeah, she was committed. Oh, okay. We okay. both okay. was committed. <laughs> so, yeah, that was my girl. I was her man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But that was like a three month thing. It's different. But did you do the dirty? A lot of girls. I was too young. See? But I was in love. You was in love. I was in love. You got to be young. I was young. I need to know. If y'all was connected, it counts. It counts. Like That's my that. ex. Yeah. Like how connected were y'all? How connected Cash were you? Cash wanna know. Was you like His connected? Nosy His nosy so he yeah, wanted we to know. Connected. <laughs> now speaking, was, speaking from on, my experience, you know, I, I don't really, I, you know, I wasn't really emotionally connected with anybody besides the person I had a child with, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. So I can't really say that it's not okay for me. You know what I'm saying? Right, mm-hmm. right, right. But. Of course, I'm gonna out of respect. I'm not gonna do it. You yeah. Know, oh respect, yeah. Of course. You know what I'm saying? So. So are I, you are you a free agent? No, no, no. No. Okay. No, he's <laughs> off the market. You like, gotta clear that right now. <laughs> off no. the market, yeah, ladies. Like, walking home and walking to the house with some hands. Off, off the market. Oh, <laughs> 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 I gotta fight. I gotta fight. I gotta fight one. He is not accepting he applications said. at the moment. So them DMs better stop. Yeah. Calm it down. Under contract. So looking back. Um, or even just where you're, where you are now in boxing. What would you say is like the biggest lesson that boxing has taught you? Just like pursuing boxing. Boxing saved my life. Mm. I tell you that much. You know, I don't know why I'd be without it. Yeah. You know, same thing goes for um, just my my daughter too. You know, my daughter. I don't know why I'd be in boxing without her because mm. you know she motivated me the most. Right. But um, boxing saved my life. Cause, God knows, you know, I'm not gonna say I was a thug or gangster or anything like that. Cause mm-hmm. I never followed any gang. I always thought that was soft to me. But um, <laughs> no, I respect that, bro. Yeah, I respect that. Cause you know, you know what it is. You know, if you if you're sitting there in a gang, that means you're scared. Correct. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you, you need, need ten people. Yeah, exactly. If you need ten people around you, you're scared. Cause he you, ready to go to war. Fuck flex, set me a test. I've always been like that. I've always been like, I had, I had a crew. Don't get me wrong. I had yeah, a crew. Right. But I was always like the one to jump. Like somebody was like, Oh, I want to fight this guy. I'd be like, Nah, you can fight me. You know what I'm saying? I I hold my friends back. I was always like that with my friends. Right. Like chill out. Nah, hold on. I got this. What you want to do, bro? Exactly. And I fought like. I said I fought people like his size and yeah. yeah. Sometimes my friends would be their size and I'd just be like, nah, I got it, bro. You know? Yeah. That's, it. <laughs> but, That's so dope. But I just, you know, if I, I don't know where I'd be, I probably would I'm not gonna say I would have got killed or anything like that. Mm-hmm. But you never yo, know. It, you know? It, it, things escalate, you exactly. know what I'm saying? Especially with fights and stuff like exactly. that. You never know, yo. It and nev- I've been I've been in thing I've been in street fights, like street fights where um my friend will be fighting and somebody gets stabbed. You know, I've seen that plenty yeah. of times. Mm. That's what I'm saying. God, God things knows it could have it been me. You know? Outside the club or in the parking lot, this place or whatever. You know yeah. what I mean? Just getting into regular street stuff and then. And then boom, it just. Exactly. Somebody dies or it's somebody, good, you know, somebody gets hurt. It's and good that, that you got off the streets and into the ring, man. Yeah. That's that's the way to yeah. go. Thank you, man. That's the way to go. It's because you're small. But <laughs> y'all know. Y'all know. You can still catch these hands. Facts. <laughs> 
Do you get that a lot though? Do people try to get on you because of your? That's time? what I was gonna oh, ask. I mean, you. friends and family. Really. Yeah. Not, not really. Nobody else. Though. Nobody exactly. in the street trying nah, to come up with tracks. If I tell right? people like I'm a boxer, nah, never that. You know. What yeah, I'm right? <laughs> yeah. If I'm like, oh, I'm a, I'm a fighter or whatever, they're kind of like, oh, you know. What I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of people on my job, they're I, my job actually supports me too. They, That's they cool. Get, anytime I need off from fighting, they give it to me. That's what's they up. Actually, nice. They actually show up. That's what's oh, up to the fighters. Yeah. They support. That's what's like, up. My managers, my, my the VP of the company comes. You know, they, wow. They, nice. Support. They, they, nice. They actually bought my first outfit. Oh, wow. Wow. That's so nice. That's so cool. Yeah, you know. You got the robe and everything. Yeah. What you got? What it say on the back? It just oh, it says "Omar the Beast" boy. Okay. Oh, yeah. the, beast. <laughs> the Beast. The Beast. Like so he's not little Pam. Stop talking junk. He's still small. Get these hands. Pam, Pam, <laughs> well, Pam okay. shorter than me. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. No, no, I'm not. I wear heels. <laughs> Me a couple times, that's why. Really? Yeah, I used to work out at the gym that I go to. Yeah. Mm. Was he tough on yeah, you? Yeah, he's tough. Oh, like, <laughs> why are you so small and so tough? Like, Bruh, that's <laughs> why. Hey, hey. <laughs> They, if, I was, if, I, if I went through a hell of a workout, I'm going to put them in my health. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah, for real. I'm like, yo, what did I do to you? Like, just, Why you hate me? I just want to go home in one piece. I just came to Your lose some weight sore. and look good. Yeah. I don't want no problem. The whole body sore. You go right to bed when you go home. Yo, he used to oh pick on me God. for sure. I'm like, yo, I swear you got I pick on anybody that was, you know. And I had a big mouth too, so I'm yeah, like, yo, exactly. and she had a big I mouth, think she that's was why. Talking. I'm yeah. like, why are you she always messing like, with me? She was like, oh, this is this is weird. I can't do. It. I was like, oh, I'm gonna get her. <laughs> you set yourself up. Yeah. Yeah. Box is oh, weird. Yeah, you know, that's all you, Pam. Oh, we got something to say. I was like, you gotta keep your mouth shut when it comes to that. That's what I feel like he's doing on purpose. I'm like, yo, I'm not doing this. Okay. You should have just did it. Oh man. Yo, let's talk about uh, Wilder again. Would you like him to fight Anthony Joshua? I think that would be a hell of a fight. When are they going to just fight? That would be, be a good fight. That would be, be a hell a of a fight. fight. I got Joshua, though. Really? Yeah, I got Joshua. Wow. A lot of people, a lot yeah? Of people don't. Yeah, I got Deontay Joshua. Wilder is like, really? actually, technically, he's one of the worst fighters. Exactly. His te- he's Why? Because he just swings he like just crazy? Swings. He, yeah. You know, it's crazy, too, because his trainer's Mark Breeland. And Mark and Breeland. And he's really, yeah, he's yeah. like well-renowned. Like, exactly. Right? Yeah. And then, and then like, they, he just be throwing. Yeah, because he got, <laughs> you know what it is? He got bricks for hands. Yeah, he, so he like, hits hard. Don't get me. Yeah. He hits hard. That saves him most of the time, because he was losing that fight, his last fight against Luis Ortiz. Yes. He was definitely losing. Wow. But he just came through. He came through and knocked the dude out. Uh, but I just it. think I think Joshua is a lot more versatile. He's a lot more technical, and I, I think he's just stronger. I think that's what I'm saying. I don't think he hits harder, but I think he's just stronger. That's what it, I, I feel like. He is the uh, catalyst to that, though. Like he could, he is what could stop a Deontay Wilder, who's like a, he's a hard hitter, but no technique. Like yeah. he just like he's just a, he's a street fighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a street fighter, which is crazy, but it, it is. What do you think about if? Triple G and Canelo, you know Canelo just going through what he's going through. But yeah. if they fought again, who you think would get it? Canelo. I think I think Triple G won the first one. You think he won the first one? I think so. I watched that five times. I, yeah, I still, yeah. I still think. I um, just feel like the middle rounds, Triple G was just consistent all the yeah. way through, and then Canelo came like a little bit later on, like a, in, in like the last few rounds. Yeah. He he. They they might have split the last three, but and, and Canelo got the first ones. But the middle rounds from like four. Almost all the way on, I feel like it was Triple G the whole way. Yeah, when I, he when I first more. when I first watched the fight, I was like, okay, Triple G won. Yeah. When I, when I watched it for second time, I thought the same thing. Yeah. But then I kept watching. I watched, like I said, I watched it like five times, and you, you know, the spurts that Canelo had, they were just. He was in in those rounds. He was winning. He was you know landing saying? crazy, he was landing punches, crazy too. punches. And and if you really look at the punches that Triple G was landing, it wasn't really like you know Canelo's he defense. He was hitting him. Yeah, 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 he, he was hitting him, but he wasn't like yeah, hitting him. Yeah, Canelo's defense was on point. Yeah. And you know like. Defensive wise, I think Canelo fought a smart fight because yeah. he didn't want to get hurt. He didn't want to get hurt, mm-hmm. and um, you know, after watching it a few times, I could see why it was a draw. You know, you know better than I do. <laughs> you do. You do. I could see you why do. it was a draw. I don't. I don't want to say Canelo won or right, Triple right. G won, but I could see why it's definitely. It would have been a hard thing to pick if exactly. he was on the cards yourself. I, the way they scored it was crazy. What was it? it, it somebody gave uh, Canelo like one fifteen to one twelve. or something Yeah, it like was that. like yeah. crazy. Yeah. Like, yeah. She don't work no more. Yeah, she don't work as a she judge should've. no more because wow. she she actually she actually called um I think the Canelo Mayweather fight and she had Canelo winning. <laughs> and, I, and, and Mayweather won every single round of that fight. Yeah, easy. You know? So she's like known for that type of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like she's she just, just being a contrarian, probably just like horrible, horrible oh, I don't, everybody else is gonna do it, so I'm gonna do this. Yeah, horrible judge. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. So are there judges like that that are just like they blind? 
That's what yeah, I like I mean, to call them. I don't want to say it's controversial, but they blind. You know, mm. like sometimes like you did not watch this fight. Yeah. yeah, and the amateurs I actually had a lot of fights robbed, and I would go up to the judge because the amateurs really? really small. I would go up there and be, yo, why, why are you giving the fight? You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I used yeah. mad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you take it all, you know? Yeah, I'm mad little, I'm mad little. Why you gave them the fight? Right? You know I won. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even the fighter will come up. Yeah, he won. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm spazzing. <laughs> right? Wow. Yeah. If the fighter said you won, that's, that's what right. they know. Yeah. It happened a few times. Like, Cause I have I, in the amateurs, I was 21 wins, nine losses. I almost mm. said like six of them was robs. You wow. know? Yeah. Like, out of the nine? Out of the that's nine. That's crazy. Like, and like three of them, you know, the fighters come with me like, yo, you won the fight, bro. That's wow. You know that's, that's crazy. Cool. That's they happens, decide you know? who's going to win before. Maybe they yeah. saw the other that's kid before up. or something like that. Yeah. So they're like, oh, I didn't... They're not even watching the fight. They just I used to like, fight people in, like, in their hometowns, though. That's what it was. I used to be like, oh, oh, oh this kid yeah. wants to do the fight. Oh, okay, I'll yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why. Gotcha. I'm sure that played a yeah. big deal. Was there ever a moment that, I don't know if you want to admit this or not, but that you were scared? Like, did you ever feel fear before a fight or anxiety or just, just I don't my know. My first amateur fight. The first time? Yeah. I was, I was like, I think it was 16. I was like, oh, man, this is real. You know? <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm yeah. in here. And then I stepped in the ring and I'm you like, You won that guy, fight? Yeah, I won my first fight. Nice, it, nice. It, it was weird, you know, but I won. But, yeah, it, you yeah. know, I'm sitting across from the guy and I'm just like, and then, it, you know, the bell's about to ring. You know, you ready? And I'm like, yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. And then, and then he came out, though, and then, like, Everything just kind of like, all my training just came and took over. So I was like, all right, you yeah, know, yeah, it was kind of yeah. like second nature. And most of the things I do is second nature, you know. Yeah, like, it's I nice. I don't really. I go off instinct. You go, yeah, off, yeah the training yeah, too. Yeah, I mean, you do it something so many memory. times. Yeah, yeah, muscle memory. That's was, what, you knock anybody out yet? Yeah, yeah, my third pro fight. Um, I knocked the dude out. Yes. Yeah. How's that feel? <laughs> Like it's, a, it, it's a win. Yeah, honestly, it's a like win. I, I know people are like, oh, I want to knock. Them. That's what I'm saying. A win, like, a win's does it a feel win. different to knock them out than nah, it is, like at the know, end and do a decision. Nah, I knock my decision. A win's a win. I feel gotcha. the same. You know, gotcha. it feels good. It feels. I, don't get me wrong. Losing sucks. Yeah, right. but winning, winning is like all right. I don't yeah. know, yo. If I knock somebody, I'm, I'm like, <laughs> 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 nah, don't get me wrong. I jumped on the turnbuckle. I jumped on the turnbuckle. And I was hyped, but you yeah, know, yeah. afterwards, like when it settled down, it didn't feel much different. Yeah, you know? yeah. When it raised my hand. It was just the roids in my hand. At the end of the day, you won. Yeah, exactly. And you know. The how to style points, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh so God. how did you get your team together? Like your coaches and your trainers? Like did that just happen kind of casually or is it something that you seeked out or nah, how did you get your team together? I mean, um, when I was like uh, going back to what I said earlier, Delvin had showed me some things, you know, he gave me some tips. He actually brought me to a different gym than the center because he saw me at the center, you know. And Delvin was like, all right, come down here. And then I trained with Delvin for a little bit. But like I said, he had to focus on his career. Mm-hmm. And then um, I had talked to one of my friends, and he told me about uh, Benny Little. I don't know if you guys heard of him, but he, he used to own a gym in Danbury, a small kickboxing gym. Okay. But he was he was he used to box in Hat City. You know, he was a big time boxer. So I went down to him. You know, and uh, the first time we actually met, he didn't like me because he thought I because two of the guys I was with were trying to hype me up. Bruh. And I was never, like I said, I was not a flashy guy or cocky, so I was like, no, you know, I told my guys, I'm like, yo, don't mess with this dude, you know? <laughs> I'm not, you guys are taking the whooping, I'm gonna take the whooping, Right, you know? right. So, I went in there, you know, he shook my hand, and he's like, you can come down, you know, I asked him initially not to train me, but to spar. Yeah. Know, Tuesdays and Thursdays, I was like, and that's when I started going down, and um, this, guy, this guy, Francis, uh, he, he actually knew Benny really well, and I knew Francis, so he, he brought me to Benny again. And this time we actually sat down and talked about training. And that's where it all started. I had my first fight with Benny in, um, I think it was like 2011 or something like that. Oh, wow. And then, um, you know, from there we were just a team. And then later down the road, around 2016, I had met somebody else, Louis Marichal. Um, he's from he's from New York. He was a pro boxer in New York, you know, amateur standout out there. And he trained me to pro, to get pro. Because Benny was going through a lot of things. Mm. And... Um, he prepared me for the pros and then uh, AJ you know he just kept a, a watchful eye you know yep. me and AJ were always close ever since because he used to manage Delvin Delvin yeah so me and AJ were real close and um, you know he was like always like a big brother so when it came time for me to go pro I was like yo you know I really want you to be a part of the team mm-hmm. and then um, we, I had my first pro fight with AJ as the manager and Lewis as the trainer okay. later on my second pro fight I brought Benny back okay you know because Benny you know like I said, I love Benny. Started yeah, yeah, so yeah. I said, like, I brought Benny back. And it's weird because, you know, heads bumped and Benny came back and Lewis left. So oh, now right, I'm, just, right. I'm just with Benny. I have Benny. And then uh, we brought back, we brought up on uh, Dave McDonough, who's trained a lot of fighters back then. You know, he's okay. working with Fernelli Sr. Fernelli, Fernelli Feliz Sr. Oh, word, word. Yeah, he's worked with him. So we brought Dave in. 
and um, he's the second. And then the guy that writes my hands, he's also Simon. He li he's actually from Canada. He drive all the way from Canada. Wow. Oh, wow. So, yeah, to be Wait, my third. You have That's a specific up. person to wrap your hands? Yeah. Really? Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. It's got to be comfortable. Yeah, well, they, all my trainers, like Banny, Dave, they all know how to wrap my hands. With, right. You know, Simon, I love Simon, so I got that. <laughs> Right. Simon, that's yeah, my guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he, he drive all over from Canada. He real, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so like, right, Simon, yeah he, he's, real. he's real team, but yeah. like for real. Yeah. Yo, yeah. 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 Wrap your that's hands. That's cool. Yeah, but that's basically how the team started and how where we are now, and we're just going up from there. We actually just got a new strength coach, and I worked with him yesterday. His name's uh, Mike Mc, uh, Mike Maldonado. Okay. Mm. Yeah, so he, you know, he, he he's gonna start helping me out. For the June 16th fight and see if I get stronger, better conditioning. That's right. what's up, man. That's awesome. I want to go to the June 16th fight. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Be out there. It's I'm actually out my first six rounders. You definitely want to come. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm in there for that. How many rounds is this right now? Uh, four rounds. Four rounds? Four rounds? Okay. Oh, okay. So we're going up to six. Oh. All right, nice. Yeah. That's well, that different conditioning. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. why we hired them. Is that yeah, right? right? You got yeah. to up it. You might have to go up to like six or seven miles soon, yo. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, I used to run six miles, and my trainers was like, yo, you got to chill because I was coming to the gym with like, Heavy legs, you know. Oh, yeah, I'd yeah, be yeah, sparring yeah. and moving mad slow, and they're like, right. "All right, you, you just run like three, four miles now." Okay, you know that's all you really need. I like to push it sometimes when I get bored, I, you know, because the first couple miles are the worst because you get bored. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then once you get to like three and four, it's like, okay, I'm used to this. Now you good. So when, you when, when I hit five, I just be going in a know? rhythm. Yeah. yeah. Nah, man, forget that. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> yo, I'm with you on that. A, yo, y'all not for the cardio. Love. Listen, I be trying. I have a hate love relationship with running. I don't know, like, I don't know if it's like you said. I get bored, and I'm just like, you know what? I'm done with this. I dread it before. Yeah, like I, I just can't, it. and I be wanting to. I really don't. Like, yo, I could. You're not gonna win, road. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I am in charge here. Road. Okay. All right, I ran streets. Track, you know, I was you like know? a runner. I, but I, I, it just. I've been that way. I ran track in high school. Too. Yeah, I was yeah. like, I, I, it does not scare me. It's like for well, me. Yeah, long like legs. You've always had long legs since grade yeah. school, so it's like nothing to Damn, so you. Like the you short, you got long legs, you know. <laughs> right? Can't just make fun of everybody. Yeah. Yeah. everybody All day. Right? Yo, I've got bullied my whole life, so everybody around me is gonna get bullied. Everybody around me is gonna get bullied. That's it. Two wrongs two wrong, two wrong don't make a That's right? it. <laughs> I hate you, Omar. Thanks for coming, brother. <laughs> Thank you for having me. What's your social media so people can follow you? Instagram is Omar Bordoy underscore junior and then on facebook is omar bordeaux junior and um yeah, that's all that's, that's you know i don't have any other social media it's all good it's all good you don't need them you know that yeah but you can get the hands <laughs> so don't run up he's run small y'all he's up. small i'm just oh, saying yeah. keep running run up and try to think he's small <laughs> he's, i'm just saying he's small that's it <laughs> once again it's the we break silence show e charles Pamela rosario cash walk and find Make sure to tune in, same time, same place next week. Uh, make sure to visit our website, newvillaentertainment.com. Download our app, New Villa app, on our Google Play and um, iTunes Store. We got to talk about Josh, right? <laughs> 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 iTunes Store ain't working right now, bro. Find it on iTunes earlier. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you guys got any last announcements before we out? Philly up 119 to 108. All right. That's uh, a great announcement. 302 uh, with 302 left. Philly, I'm home. And Miami's going to win. Philly, so I'm home. LeBron, that. I'm still with you, but Philly, I'm home. All right, enough about that. That's it. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys uh, same time, same place next week. Good night. Yeah. Thanks for having Thanks. me again. Oh, I have an announcement. Wait, before we go. Hold on. I will be on the panel on oh, yeah, um, right. next week on oh, Wednesday yeah. the 25th. I will be at WestCon at their alumni re alumni reflection event. I'm part of the panel, so come check me out next week on Wednesday on Wednesday on the West Side. Okay. Um, I'll put the banner up on my Facebook page. I'm not sure what room. Well, I know it's in the students and on the West Side campus. We'll share on the New Villa Radio right, cool. stuff too. Okay. Got it. That's All it. Right. All right, guys. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. This is New Villa Entertainment.